What's up, y'all? It's Nick here. I am in Arizona. Sorry. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm in Arizona. I was moving. Yes. As you can tell, I got the Lexus here. So that was a long drive from Atlanta. Like, I left Friday evening after sundown, and it's Sunday morning. So just me. So it's literally sleep, drive, sleep, drive. And now I'm here. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start off on a few things first. Oh, I made the Lexus up this road, which was really difficult. Thought I had like either like scraped the oil pan or gouged one of the gas tanks, but luckily I did not. So we're definitely gonna spend some time this week uh, clearing out some of these bigger rocks. And as you see, it fits perfectly right here, but the goal is still to get a truck. Uh, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out here and we're gonna start up the um, planning for the outdoor shower as well as the first 100 square foot cabin. That way we have stuff to like leave clothes and everything. And we'll start that off first, do another small structure. And then at the end, while we're doing this, we're also gonna get a permit for the actual structure for living. So, yeah. All right, so we got this right here for, you know, marking out the distance. I got a speaker this time. The reason why I got a speaker instead of AirPods is I don't want nothing to sneak up on me out here. Um, so we got that. Uh, we got, as you can see, water, hand sanitizer, and I got a drink in there. And this is, remember that canister from the last video where this thing lasted almost like 36 hours of uh, ice? We got that in here as well. And I'm just throwing. All right, so a quick update while the wind is not blowing. So if you look behind me, pretty much see I cleared out majority of the uh, little small trees. I'm only doing ones I care about. I was going to do the driveway, like I said before, from the car directly down. Plan switch up three. So pretty much the plan is the shower is going to be right here. As you can tell, it's going to be a pretty small outdoor shower. So you walk in, you stand in, you get in, you do your thing, and then you get out. All right. So basically, the shower is going to be right there. This is going to be the 100 square foot structure. Because we're building shower first, we're going to get the orientation right. Because based on perspective, every corner you look at it looks straight, but if you look at it from an angle, sometimes it looks lopsided or crooked. So the thing is, we're going to put the shower down first. We're going to build this pretty much last. That way, after we get done with a long day of working out here, we just take a, we can just take like a makeshift shower and then roll out versus, you know, sweaty drive all the way to the hotel or Airbnb. Oh my gosh, it looks so dirty. <laughs> it was dirt flying everywhere. I was digging inside the wind, into the wind. So I was throwing it up in the air and it was <laughs> hit me back in the face. And that was like all on my skin. But anyways, um... So like I said, this is like, this driveway right here is only the halfway point, or pretty much I'll say 75, because that is where we're actually going to have like the um, cabin at. So you're going to have to drive from here to about that tree, that's going to be a stopping point, and then walk. I might clear a hold out, but right now I have, you just have to walk at that point. And then um, maybe I'll put a fence right there. That way you can drive in and there's no fence. The fence will start on that side. Cause I still want to do like an outdoor track out here. Cause I mean, I got enough room from that end all the way down to like that tree. So I can do a drift track in the front yard or I might do a drift track in the back. I'm still not really fully sure on it yet, but we'll decide. So basically I got messed up some boots this time. Walmart, like $25. We're not gonna pay like no 120 for no Tim's, but they'll do the job. So the goal here is like now I can tuck my pants into I'm not wearing high waters. I can tuck my pants into these and I don't have to worry about those little thorny things getting to my shoes and all my socks. Also, these are the stepping stones now. Uh, one cool thing, close this up. I don't want I don't want a visitor in my car on the way back. I saw a rabbit earlier. So these little blocks that you see right here are gonna be how when I walk to the cabin, I can walk out and then walk to the outdoor shower. We're gonna have like a little step into the outdoor shower or might just make our own little platform so we can walk in. Thinking about also putting a pool out here too, like a stock pool. I don't know if you've seen those, they look like this. And basically we're gonna have one somewhere out here, but I prefer it be behind the, um, I prefer to be behind the shower only because we can use the shower and the cabin as a shade during the daytime when the sun is up. And then that way, if I'm out here chilling in the pool, I can see out to the sunset. Cause that looks amazing, you know? So, yeah. Um, I already started digging right here, the little areas where I'm gonna put these down. I actually have a compactor 
I'm gonna compact this dirt down real quick before it gets too dark. Uh, this is all the wood we got for right now. We got the pressure treated ones like there.